Hello and welcome to Avgeta. I hope you're doing great as always. Uh, I've just recently switched from Cubase to Reaper for various reasons. Uh, and I figured as I'm learning this new door, uh, I would do uh, how-to videos on uh, the topics that I learn. I'm not sure if this will be a reoccurring feature on the channel, we'll have to see about that. But hopefully someone will have use of it and uh, I don't know, we'll just have to see. So this first uh, video uh, of the Reaper video, so to speak, will be about how to route out the channels from AD, the VST for drums, to channels within Reaper. Uh, the benefit of that is that you'll get uh, the VST I uh, channels within Addictive Drums out as if they were audio channels within Reaper, meaning that. Once you've done that, you can add effects uh, that is not part of the internal interface of addictive drums, you know. Uh, very, uh, it gives you much more flexibility and much more um, room for modification and control of the sounds of the drums within addictive drums, I would say. Uh, otherwise, uh, the way I've been doing it before is that I've uh, actually exported the drum tracks one by one, one for the bass drum, one for the snare, etc. Then I've added compressors and stuff that I felt was necessary to get the sound that I wanted. Because the built-in effects within AD, well they are good, but they are not always what you are looking for. Uh, so this is a really nifty feature I would say. First you start up Reaper, of course. Then you go to the menu Track and you choose Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. You choose Addictive Drums and then you click OK. You will get a dialog box called Build Routing Confirmation. Click Yes. Now you can see that each drum channel from AD has its own track, but there are one more thing you need to do before this works. In the AD interface go to Kit at the bottom of each channel in the mixer you have a down arrow. Press it to bring up a menu. From that menu choose separate out post fader. You'll need to do this for each channel within the mixer. Now you can add whatever effects you want to the drum channels. Here's an example of the original beat. And here it is with some reverb and compressor added for the bass drum and the snare. Okay, so that's it. That's not so complicated to do, but if you don't know how to do it, it's a bit more tricky. I didn't know, I had to check it out. Uh, and now you have my video on how to do it. I hope it's useful for someone. I'm not sure how many people out there are using Addictive Drums and uh, Reaper, but this, uh, for me, it's a really uh, uh, a gold mine of opportunities, so to speak. Uh, a really nice feature. But I won't be babbling away about that. I just hope you liked the video. I hope that you had some use for it. Uh, and uh, I hope that some people will watch it, of course. And if you did like it, please do subscribe to Have Guitar, a new video out at least every Thursday, uh, quite often, more often than the Thursdays. Uh, I try to mangle out as many videos as I can and hopefully I will get better and more interesting and possibly more fun and a bit more skilled about doing videos, you know. <laughs> so with that said, uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw, if you had some use for it. Uh, lots of other videos here at Have Guitar to watch as well. Mainly Camper, but some other interesting, hopefully, stuff as well. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Be well, stay safe, and play hard. Okay? Bye!